This is video number 537. What is love? I have this healthy, normal obsession with what is love. What is it that God requires us to do with Him and with our fellow pilgrims on this journey we call life? What is love? I listened to a podcast from Rock Bell where he explained that love your enemy the love that is used in Greek here is a by love, the kind of love that can transform an object. It can increase the worth of something. I have heard this story of the Philippines and how love has actually transformed someone. According to the story, when a father decided that his daughters are ready for marriage, he brought corsets in the little village. Then all the husbands to be can come and pay a price for his daughter. The price is in the form of a mount of sheep. If it is beautiful gold, then the father expects more sheep. This particular father had three daughters. For the beautiful one, he expected ten sheep. For the average one, seven sheep. But for the plain one, he only expected three sheep. The first potential husband made an appointment for the daughter. The father was expecting a price for the most beautiful one. Instead, the potential husband made a proposal for the plain one, but he offered to pay 70 sheep for the plain girl. The father, father accepted with amazement. On the day of the wedding, the whole village arrived at the wedding to almost expect disappointment for the potential husband. Instead, when the plain girl removed her veil, the whole team looked in utter amazement because as she was unveiling herself, she was indeed the most beautiful girl in the village. Actually, the most beautiful girl the villagers have ever seen. I believe that was a girl by kind of love. The kind of love that actually transforms something into something beautiful. May God plant this love and abundance in our hearts that we can also too transform people around us in the most beautiful, most complete, whole and worthy versions of themselves. This past week I also experienced love. I soaked it up like Spongebob Squarepants. It was Valentine's Day and my, my one friend hosted us, all of us, our little circle of friends, with a beautiful stunning spread. This made me thinking, God knows the love we require Sometimes he will send a gentleman to fill that void. Sometimes he will send us a loving circle of friends that will give us lip gloss, cakes and champagne. I was on a journey last week about psychopaths, people that only think about themselves, how they will cause a stir, affecting and rippling out to other people without even giving it a second thought. I was asking God, how is this possible? Have they found the button in their brain that switches off the second thoughts about their co-sisters and co-brothers emotions? Holy Spirit reminded me about this verse, 1 Timothy 4 verse 2, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. If the conscience is seared, literally cauterized, then it has been rendered insensitive. Such a conscience, a conscience, conscience does not work properly, as if it is spiritual score tissue, has dulled the sense of right and wrong. Just as the hide of an animal scored with a branding iron becomes dumb for further, numb for further pain, so the heart of an individual with a seared conscience is desensitized to moral pangs. But please do not worry, this is not a doom and gloom preachy video. This is a video of good news, of seeing the silver line. This is a video that brings hope. I had the antidote, like the medicine to psychopath thoughts happening to me this weekend. One of my ex-boyfriends, currently a dear friend of mine, staying in Canada and I'm based in South Africa. This is a shout out to him and a kind and dearest thanks for being one of my biggest groupies of the videos. Sent me a message. Would you like to date again? I was a little bit confused with this question as I do not see how this would be logistically possible. 
I asked him why he would propose something like that. He answered, he gave my emotions some thought and maybe that was something that I needed. I did not need it. But the crowd goes, aww. This is the most radical antidote for psychopaths. Someone that can actually meditate on your needs. Not only showing it to you, not only proposing a solution to the voids in your life, but actually, actually offering to be the solution to your empty spaces. May we all have a Gandhi moment happening to us daily. May we c c collect this kind of radical love stories daily. Antidotes to the psychopaths. May we collect stories of people daring to be the change we want to see in the world. The next video on what is love will follow soon.